What's good ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the driveway where we are here officially at the 2024 Houston Auto Show and our first stop is here at Toyota where they have dropped a bombshell on everybody by rolling out an all new version of one of the best selling cars worldwide. So let's go behind this display and check out the all new 2025 all electrified Toyota Camry. Now before we get to the new car, which is just off to our right, let us remind ourselves what made the prior generation Camry such a hit from its first introduction in 2018 until its end in 2024. Now they actually have two of them here at the show. They have an XSC with pretty much every option in it in the bright silver, and they also have a black Camry TRD, one of my favorite versions of the Camry to date. And look at this one, blacked out everything, blacked out wheels, black roof, definitely a car befitting of the term extreme sports edition. Now compared to the new car, which you'll see here in a moment, you may be catching glimpses of as I walk around this one here. This car to me, at least at first glance, having seen the new one already, it looks a bit bigger than the new car. Now I don't have any numbers on the new one. I haven't really been given a whole lot of information about it. But what I remember about driving these so many times is the fact that it was just such a revolutionary jump from even its prior generation. I love the interior on these. I loved, I still love the design. It doesn't look like it's gone, I guess, too far out of date. I love the screen in the middle, how it's stacked up perfectly. I love things like the leather wrapped steering wheel, the red face gauges here on this XSE. And it was a roomy car too. It had plenty of space for everyone. And of course, I had to shine a quick spotlight on my favorite version of the prior generation Camry, the Camry TRD, co-developed with Toyota Racing Development. Stiffer suspension, better brakes, better wheels, signature body cladding, and one of the best sounding factory exhausts that I've ever heard on a family sedan. And look at this, it's just sinister, sitting here in this beautiful black, which Actually, on second glance, it almost looks blue. I can't tell whether that's a very dark navy blue or a black, but I absolutely love it. And unlike the XSE, this one was only available with the 2GR FKS dual injected V6 with over 300 horsepower, which definitely made it a lot more fun to drive compared to just an everyday Camry. And even still, there's no rear seat delete, there's no roll bars in the back. I love things like the red seat belts, but still, a lot of people may have criticized this car for its lacking in features, myself included, but at the same time, definitely was one of the more fun ways to get your family around. Okay, but enough with the old, this is what we have come here to see. This is the all new, all electrified 2025 Toyota Camry, and you know, at first, when I saw it in pictures, I really didn't know what to think of it, but now sitting here in the flesh, I actually don't mind it. It's starting to grow on me ever so slightly here, just within the first couple minutes of seeing it, but there are several major headlines, aside from the fact that it takes its design inspiration, at least here at the front, from the all-new Prius, if you're familiar with that car. This, just like its rival, the Honda Accord, is now a completely hybridized family sedan. There will no longer be any gas-only options for the Camry. You can either opt for a standard 225 horsepower hybrid system, or if upgraded with all-wheel drive, that steps up the game to 232 horsepower. Now this one here is an XLE sitting in a very interesting like aquamarine color and it's really accented nicely with these 18 inch wheels. I love the design on those. They still look a little bit smaller than 18s, but you know, I can kind of look past that. The rear of this car, let's see if I can bring the trunk down just a little, definitely has a very interesting look to the taillights. They almost look kind of like a slimmed down version of the 10th generation Honda Accord when I first saw it. But overall, at least from a first perspective, it looks like a pretty sizable refresh compared to being brand new from the ground up. Now the interior, from what I've seen, has definitely gotten a decent upgrade as well. And looking at it, 
you can definitely tell this is a big upgrade over the old one. Of course, this being the XLE, you have the half fabric and half leather seats here. Absolutely love the look of that dash as we get on in here. Take a look, got an all digital gauge cluster, got this giant display. Now I haven't been given a whole lot of facts or information about this car, so I do apologize about that. But this one, XLE gets the heated and cooled seats, dual zone climate control, wireless charger, USBs or USB-Cs, typical drive mode select, eco, normal, sport. You've got the EV mode because again, this is an all hybridized powertrain. But this is actually a really, really smart looking car. Still kind of curious why Toyota decided to start stacking the buttons on the steering wheel vertically instead of horizontally, but all the same. Got a 360 camera on this one as well. That is a really, really pretty car. Of course, looking in the back, space for three, 60-40 split fold seats. And as the crowds have already started to gather, this now wraps up our first little sneak peek of the all new, all electrified 2025 Toyota Camry. And like I said, now seeing it in the flesh, I am starting to actually like it a little bit, but let me know what you guys think of the all new Camry. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to click that subscribe button for many more videos like this and more to come in the future. And trust me, I always appreciate the support in the end, but, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Stay safe.